discussing the evidence about a pressurized system. A pressurized system needs to have a container in order to be pressurized. A gradient pressurized system needs that container also. In order for gradient pressure to exist, pressure must exist in the first place, i.e. a container. This container would hold the pressure in and subsequently the equalizing of the pressure would cause your gradient pressure, varying levels of pressure all the way to the top of the container. If you look outside and look at the lovely planet Earth, you will see that we are in a pressurized system. You can look this up on Google or anywhere that uh, provides information about the educational system towards the pressurized system that we inhabit. But they will say that Earth is a closed system. Well, I ask you this, how can you have a closed system on a ball that's spinning through space with a pressurized system that does not have a container besides the vacuum of space itself without it going into outer space. This is a puzzling thing indeed. Many have asked this question and it never gets answered. It's always obfuscated. They always obfuscate this question. They turn it into another question or in inevitably avoid it entirely. And I've seen this on several occasions amongst the discussion of the ranting, ranting, ranting apes. Because that is what they are to me, ranting apes. They believe that there are monkeys on a ball spinning through space is an accident. And I will not argue that fact with them for them themselves. I believe that they are such a thing. Myself, I do not believe I'm a monkey on a ball floating through space. It's a bloody accident. <laughs> Frustrating indeed it is. Anyways, further on, you cannot have a pressurized system beside a vacuum without a container. And there is no demonstration that provides this. Be very wary. There are demonstrations that try to fool you into thinking that it is a pressurized system when it indeed is not. And it has a lid that is not there, but it has sides. And these sides are not a pressurized system holding it in. No demonstration has been provided. No evidence has been provided. And in photos of miles and miles, you cannot see curvature. This just simply does not exist. It is a fallacy. And it's easily explained with perspective. Perspective of angular resolution. For example, if you stand on a hallway that is flat, 300 feet, and you were to put a flashlight at the end of that hallway and use your phone and bring it down to the eye level of that flashlight, you will find that that flashlight will disappear because the angle becomes squashed on a flat surface. This is the law of perspective. And all laws of perspective, or the whole entire law of perspective, always says the same thing. It will rise to the eye level of the observer. The observer can see at eye level. And today, mate, we're going to be giving you a great time with Wallop and Kangaroos, then. All righty, then.